Hello again YouTube, I'm back and this time I'm doing something a little different here. You know, still along the same lines of uh, alternative energy. And I've been reading about these E85 conversion kits and you know, I decided to, you know, try my hand at it to see if it would see if it actually works or if it's a scam. Um, yeah, some people may say it's crazy, but you know, hey, to each his own, I suppose. What I got was this is a a kit, a E85 conversion kit that I bought from Change2E85.com. Uh, this is a distributor out of uh, Denver, and he's a distributor of the unit that comes from Flex Fuel International. And uh, I've got it, uh, you know, connected or bolted to the uh, firewall of the car. And the unit essentially comes with four connectors that connect to the injectors of the vehicle. And these, they're right here. Um, essentially, I have a four-cylinder Kia Spectra 2005. And as you can see, these are the spark plugs. And this is the cable that connects up to it. And so there are four connectors, and you and you connect the uh, the injectors. They're just get the injector connector. They they work in between the um, engine control unit um, and the injectors. They just kind of plug in between. You can go to the website. It'll explain exactly how it works. But just, I'm just gonna sh just tell you what I did. So I just connected the injectors, uh, the the connectors there, and there is a one connector that I put on the negative. Uh, post on the battery the ground basically and so um, so I've got it installed uh, does it work uh, well let me just you know everybody's got their own opinions and everything and I'll just leave you know leave everybody's opinions to themselves but I'll just tell you the facts I installed it um, now was it easy to install once well that's yes and no if you know once you get the the connectors off then it's easy to install uh, I had, you know, a little trouble with the connectors because they were kind of stuck on there and, you know, I had to wiggle it and all this other stuff. I wound up uh, breaking a couple of the clips that's on the connector, but it was no big deal. I'm an ex-mechanic, so, yeah, no big, you know, duct tape fixes everything. <laughs> okay, it works fine, no problem. But anyway, uh, once you get the connectors off and then you put, like, you know, right here, this is one of them. They, it kind of fits. See, right down here is where it comes where the uh the the unit that little box there you know plugs into the actual in injector that's the injector and this is the this is the original injector connecting cable right here so what it is is this is in between now so it's plugged into here and it's plugged into there and you know and i did that with all four of them and it, it worked out not a problem you know about 45 minutes maybe an hour um, you know, I had it up and uh, uh, plugged into the car. Um, now, when I ordered the unit, uh, what I had to tell the guy was, you know, the type of vehicle that I had and then, you know, what type of connector, okay, what type of connector that you have, and also the polarity of the connector. That was very important. So once I did that, hooked it up to the car, um, the instructions were, okay, once you hook it in, um, put a 50-50 mix. 50% gasoline and 50% E85 and run it for a while and then once you're done with that fill it up with all E85 and then run that and then you after that you can run it you know with whatever combination you have now to be honest with you yes was I nervous yeah I was nervous um, because hey this is my transportation so but the thing about it, my car has over 220,000 miles on it, 220,000 miles. So, yeah, you know, if it happens, if it works fine, if it doesn't, yeah, it's fine too, no, no biggie. Um, but in any case, I put it on there, and I'm sorry for you folks that believe E85 is evil and, you know, it doesn't work and your car is going to run, you know, rough or raggedy or something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's not the case the stuff, the thing actually works. Now, I drove this car 698 miles, okay, 698 miles on E85. Well, the first part, I actually, it was, it was, ha it was like a 50-50, like E85 
and uh, gasoline, E85 and gasoline, and I've got, and I calculated the gas mileage, and it was around 30, 31 uh, miles per gallon. Now, it is correct, once you just start running E85 straight, you will notice a maybe 10 or 20% drop in miles per gallon. Like for instance, to get half a tank, I can drive 165 miles, uh, and that will take me down to a half a tank. Now on E85, okay, I can drive 160 miles, okay, and that will get me down to a hundred uh, half a tank. Now, yes, there are people that will say this. Well, that's not scientific. Of course not. I'm, you know, I'm not a scientist, but you know, we all have eyes and we can see and we can do basic basic mathematics, um, and to get a general idea. Well, the basic, the bottom line is, does it work? Yes, it works. Um, and in, after that, the half and half, I just filled it up on E85 straight. And I ran it, um, it ran fine. But the key thing is, you know, if you want to save uh, fuel economy and so forth, there's a lot of factors that, that's, that's involved. Your tire pressure, how you drive, your driving habits, where you drive, where are you driving. I drove it on the interstate. I also drove it in a metro city. Um, and the vehicle drove fine. It drove fine. Now, there are times when there were micro changes uh, when, the computer, when the controller is, is making adjustments and so forth. And if you know your vehicle, you can kind of feel those adjustments. But for the most part, um, I mean, if you were a serious enthusiast and you know everything about engines, yeah, you're going to notice subtle differences here and there. Uh, and I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a vehicle enthusiast by any stretch of the imagination. A car is a car to me. I can care less. Um, but in any case, um, I filled up with E85 in the vehicle with, and I drove 698 miles um, on this E85 and it works great. The unit works great. Now, why? Why would I even care? Well, here where I live, E85 costs $2.84 a gallon. Okay, the premium costs $3.64 a gallon. Okay, E85, 284 uh, a gallon, and the premium, the premium gasoline costs $3.64 a gallon. So that's an 80 cents difference, and I get 105 octane. Uh, the engine, it runs, it runs pretty smooth. It runs, it runs well. Um, uh, let me switch on the car, and uh, let's find out. Let's, 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 let's let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, I've switched it on, and there's no clunking, 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 and there's no hissing and all this other stuff. It, it just runs. It just runs. It smells better, too. Um, but in any case, as I said, um, <clears throat> with E85, I got around, you know, 24, 25 miles to the gallon on straight, on 50-50 mix. I got about 30, 31 uh, miles to the gallon, okay? 10% of 31 is 3, right? Uh, or 10% or of 30 is 3. So, you know, if you get, you know, 20% of 30 is 6. Uh, so you subtract 6 from 30, you get around 24. So, again, you know, or, or you get a 24. And so that's about 20%, that's a 20% drop, which is acceptable in my opinion. Again, just wanted to show, just share with you folks on YouTube that, yes, I converted my vehicle. I am happy with it. You know, I'm tempted to buy another one for my wife's vehicle, <laughs> okay? And yeah, it does work, okay? And uh, I'm going, and, you know, if I think about it, I'm going to put links at the bottom so that, you know, for everybody that doesn't believe that E85 will work and, and for everyone that thinks it's going to corrode your, you know, uh, fuel system and, and for everybody that thinks that you're not going to get the power that you expect and so forth, I'm going to put some links down there for, um, for you to look at on your own. I, thought, I did a lot of research before I, I put the unit uh, on the car, or before I even bought the unit. And I am surprised at the misinformation uh, that the industry has put out there concerning E85. I mean, it, this is, it's, it's like conspiracy stuff. And um, there is a lot of misinformation, a huge amount. People are just up in arms about E85. 
Um, and they just, they really don't know. Um, they, they truly do not know. And I, I'm surprised that, you know, that we, the American public, are like sheep. We believe everything without looking. And, you know, people, there's folks talking about, well, you know, uh, the corn that's used to make E85, E85 in the United States, um, you know, or it's, it should be, you know, used to feed cattle and, you know, and so forth. And it is <laughs> the byproduct, uh, you know, the, the mash that's at the end of the process is actually, or the stuff that's, that's at the end of the process is used to feed cattle. Um, there was so much misinformation. Well, it's illegal. Well, the Iowa National Guard is using it. So the federal government is actually using it. Um, uh, you know, these conversion kits and things of that nature. So it, it's just amazing about what people are saying. You go to the forums and they say, well, you know, it just it's just not going to work. It's going to rust out your, you know, your fuel system because your fuel system, your, you know, the system in the car was not designed to run on ethanol or have ethanol in the gas. Well, you know, if you do the research, you'll find that in 1988, uh, ever since 1988, you know, the EPA mandated that all cars be able to handle the E85, or I'm sorry, not the E85, but the, uh, the ethanol additives, okay, that's in the fuel, okay? But anyway, um, you know, it's, you know, hey, to each his own, let everybody believe what they want to believe. Uh, the fact is, does it work? Yes. Is it easy to install? It depends on your connector and how how hard it is to get that connector off. Once you get the connector off, you're good. Um, and you know, is it worth it? Eh, I think it is. You know, would I recommend it? Yeah, that depends. That depends. You know, again, this is YouTube. Okay, if you do this, you do it at your own risk, just like I did. I, I did my research. You know, I I made a, this a conscious decision. Okay. And I put it on, and then I drove it. So 698 miles. Now, after a thousand miles, uh, based on the instructions that came with the unit, I'm going to change out the the uh, fuel filter, the oil filter, and the air filter because um, ethanol or alcohol uh, is a solvent. Okay, it's not naturally corrosive. I mean, if it was, you know, if it you know was bad to plastics then what about stuff like this? <laughs> How come this stuff isn't melting, you know? How come the, the cap isn't just dissolving away? Um, it just, that just doesn't really make a sen sense to me. This is 90% isopropyl alcohol. Think of it as methanol, you know, and, you know, please give me a break. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm sure there's going to be some comments and so forth, you know, on the on the on the video and I can accept that I mean I can respect everybody's opinion I mean even trolls I mean hey you know everybody's got to do something you know if you're a troll and you know and you have something to say please please say it go for it not a problem um, I'll look at it I'll laugh and then go about my business but anyway for you sincere folks that are out there wondering whether or not it actually works yeah it does if you do your research, you will find out the benefits of using ethanol as an alternative fuel source. And as an alternative fuel source, why would you want to, you know, keep ethanol on hand? Well, one thing, because ethanol alcohol, okay, doesn't really go bad if it's in a good environment, if it's in a sealed container. And for emergency purposes, when, you know, there's a fuel shortage or the gas prices are just too high or just not available, you can always make your own, um, you know, with a permit, of course. And it, but in a, in a serious emergency situation, you got to do what you got to do. And knowing that your vehicle will run on ethanol, um, hey, you know, it's just another option for you. If you're a prepper, it's yeah, something to consider. Okay, YouTube, thanks a lot. Have a good one.